gotta give love away. Hi, my name is Eric Shaw. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about modern yoga history, something that's really exciting to me. Um, and I'm going to talk about vinyasa yoga. Where did vinyasa yoga come from? Vinyasa yoga is, of course, the yoga system we do where we link poses together in a flowing form. I'm going to skip the earlier history. I'm just going to kind of come to the modern kernel of the practice, which flowed from a visit by uh, the great teacher Krishna Pachabi Joyce to Encinitas in 1975. Before that, the first Westerner had studied with him, a guy named André van Lisbeth in 1964. This guy was the head of the Belgian Yoga Association, and he subsequently published a book in which he included um, K.P. Joyce's address in Mysore. So that was a little opening to the West. But the big opening happened when three people, three Americans, Nancy Gilgoff, Doug Allen, and David Williams, were hanging out um, in South India, and they met up with Manju Joyce. Manju Joyce was the son of Krishnacharya, and he did a little bit of the vinyasa practice of um, of K.B. Joyce's system, the Ashtanga Yoga system, and they were totally excited about it. That's what they had come to India to learn. They traveled to Mysore and they convinced K.P. Joyce to teach them. He kind of didn't want to teach Westerners, but he, um, he relented. They studied with him a while. Um, David Williams went back to America with Nancy Gilgoff, and Doug Allen stayed in practice for a while. But eventually what happened is they settled in Encinitas, California, um, south of L.A., founded a school where they started teaching this form. Yeah? And then subsequently they brought K. Patabi Joyce himself to Encinitas to teach in 1975, and that was his first American visit. Tim Miller started studying in 1978. He subsequently was the first person to get certified to teach Ashtanga Yoga. He just asked K. Patabi Joyce, he went to Mysore, and he, he asked him if he would certify him. So he had him do this public demonstration, and he certified him in Ashtanga Yoga, so he got the official certification. But what Miller did with his understanding when he came back to America, he got this idea to blend together the postures in unusual ways because the Ashtanga system was a set system. It had these different series of practices, it still does, in which you do an exact set of poses. It never changes. But what Miller did is he did what, something he called Surya Namaskara C. So in the tradition you have Surya Namaskara A and then you have Surya Namaskara B, the two sun salutation systems. But he did something what he, that he called Surya Namaskara C. And in Surya Namaskara C, he started blending the various postures in occasional ways, in ways that kind of match the moment. The students that showed up, the season of the year, the time of day, something that felt appropriate intuitively for his teaching. And as we all know, any of us who practice Hatha Yoga today, that's the primary mode of instruction. Um, people take the posture systems, the, vo the basic vocabulary, their vocabulary that we know, the um, yoga poses, and we flow them together in interesting ways that are appropriate for the people who show up for our class. It's sourced back to Ashtanga Yoga, yeah? Ashtanga Yoga, the set system that came from, came from K. Patabi Joyce. And in the next video, we'll talk about where K. Patabi Joyce learned that system, his guru, and the sources he looked to to create the modern Ashtanga Yoga system that led to the vinyasa practice that we know today. I'm Eric Shaw. Blessings on your day.